Hey y'all, it's John, and Bitcoin has had just a little bit of a rough week. Uh, middle of the week, China instituted some new regulations around cryptocurrencies. The price fell and started to recover. Yesterday, Bitcoin was actually recovering pretty well, went up to 42,000. But the Biden administration also said that in addition to almost doubling the staff at the IRS to increase tax compliance, they're going to require that any transaction involving more than $10,000 in a cryptocurrency be reported. Now, obviously they are painting this as for nefarious actors who are, are trying to use Bitcoin, okay? Uh, but it put more downward pressure on Bitcoin's prices, fell to about 39,000 and then recovered back up to about 42. Hidden in this, is something I saw from JP Morgan. Now, they have put a valuation right now of Bitcoin at about 35,000. And if it's hovering around 40 right now, okay, so that's saying it's overvalued. And they're comparing that to gold. They are looking at the stock market, the inflation rate, and are investors moving to an asset like a crypto or gold to protect, to, to hedge against inflation. And as I reported in a previous video, the money's not really going into Bitcoin, it's going more into gold. Now we're still talking about relatively small amounts, right? But it's not moving into Bitcoin. Larger institutional um, investors are not seeing Bitcoin as the hedge, right? Feeds into my belief that it's more of a emotionally driven bubble, but they also said, JP Morgan also said that they have a long-term target price of $140,000. So some other cryptos are doing okay. For example, Bitcoin's kind of down in terms of the whole asset hedge. Ethereum's doing better. So I don't think we can quite talk about the whole crypto market without talking about the two, three, maybe four biggest ones out there. But I do wonder, after being up at 60, dropping down to 40, even though JP Morgan thinks right now it's, eh, it's a 35, I think people are gonna latch on to that 140,000. Another lady, don't remember the name off the top of my head, said earlier in the week she had a long-term price for Bitcoin of 250,000. And then there was another one I read, they had a long-term 500,000. So there's a lot of big believers in Bitcoin who think that we are four, five, ten times undervalued right now on Bitcoin, at least long term. Well, JP Morgan saying right now in this environment, this inflationary environment, it's slightly overvalued. I hope the bad news about crypto is kind of over for a while. Hopefully there's no more surprises. I wouldn't be surprised, I guess is what I'm saying, to see kind of a big rally. As this economy continues to recover, uh, we had lower jobless claims than expected, so that's helped push the stock market up a little bit from kind of a down week. I kind of suspect that Bitcoin's going to recover. If, if in this inflationary environment, people are moving to gold and Ethereum's doing pretty well, I don't see how Bitcoin is worse than Ethereum for hedging against inflation. So love to know your thoughts below guys, but I appreciate it.